Good morning. Lighting is not so great. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and one of the many hats that I wear during my day is or during my week is I am a ship shopper and so if you clicked on this video because you are a ship shopper as well and you want to see what's going on in the life of SHIP or you're just curious about SHIP, then hopefully I'll be able to answer some of your questions today. I have about five shops that are scheduled already this morning and so I am going to take you on them with me. Maybe not on every single one of them because two of the shops are um, larger. I have a couple small shops and then a couple of bigger ones. So, um, but I'll definitely talk you through um, what's going on today. The first thing you should know is that if you want to pick up some shops, you should set your alarm to 6 a.m. And as soon as your alarm goes off, be ready because there may be some shops that come through. Um, that's what I do. So again, this video is just going to be about what I do. Maybe not everyone that ship shops does this. I am in the Fresno, California Metro. Our Metro just started um, about a year ago in October. So it's February. So, um, you know, we've, our, our Metro is fairly new. Um, we have a lot of shoppers. We, our Metro is, is getting busier. We have new members all the time. I'm actually shopping, um, for a new member today. So, and we can talk more about that. So today, um, throughout this video, as I think of things that have to do with ship or that have to do with my life as ship, with ship, um, then I'll just kind of insert those in. Okay, so the first one I already told you is that you should um, set your alarm till six, to 6 a.m. and start picking up some shops if you wanna do some shops that day, okay? The second thing is, is that you need to make sure that your cell phone is fully charged. I'm going to leave mine plugged in right here because it is not fully charged. All right, if you're an older shopper like me, <laughs> then you need to make sure that you have on comfortable shoes. I have um, shopped before without my running shoes on and um, with just some kind of flat little fun little shoes. And uh, yeah, that didn't, that wasn't um, too smart. I ended up. Um, I ended up with sore with sore arches at the end of the day. I'm wearing my green ship shirt. Um, I know there's other colors now. This is an old shirt. I don't have um, a new shirt with a new logo on it yet. And I have a gray shirt. I have a long sleeve shirt. So I have a couple of other different shirts. Um, you don't have to wear your shirt. Um, you'll see in the lounge when you go to the ship shopper lounge, I'm getting me a snack. I always bring a bottle of water, um, at least one, sometimes two, and um, some sort of a snack. And this is my favorite snack to bring on the road. You can get that at Target. So um, you don't have to wear your shirt. If you go into the ship shop lounge, you'll see you know, the discussion about that. Some people say, yes, I always wear it. Some people say, no, I don't. Personally, for me, I always wear my ship shirt unless um, I'm you know, let's say I'm out at dinner or I'm out somewhere and I decide to pick up an order and I don't have my shirt with me, that's okay, I'll just go ahead and do that shop. But for the most part, I wear my green shirt. Also, I need glasses, so I always make sure I tuck those right here. Okay, when we get in the car, then I'll show you where I keep and how I keep my card and my ship card and all of that, okay. All right, so I'm in my car and you always want to make sure if you know you're going to be shopping the next day, I always make sure that I have gas because I hate to stop and get gas in the morning before I start start shopping. And also I, um, you know, you don't know if you're going to have time to get gas in between shops. So I just make sure that I have gas in my car. I always have at least one bottle of water 
And then I always have hand sanitizer in my car. Um, this is just me, but you know, I always have some sort of um, lip gloss or something for my lips. And then, you know, sometimes we get a little, um, you know, sweaty throughout the day when you're shopping. So I always like to have just a little bit of spray that I can just spray on me right before I, you know, deliver to go to the front door. I don't want to be, you know, smelling all crazy and everything. So I want to smell good for the customers, right? So different people have, um, you know, hold their cards in different ways this is what I do this is just one of those spy belts and the spy belt works for me in my spy belt I always carry my card and my license so you will know when you have an order that requires an ID scan um, and you know sometimes I forget but you know what there are medicines certain medicines that customers may want and if they require an ID scan and sometimes the you know at Target or at the grocery store wherever you're getting them they know you because you've been in there you've been shopping and so they'll just ask you for your birthday and they'll just type that in. Other cashiers may want your actual license. So I always carry my license and my um, ship card um, in my spy bag. My first shop is a small shop. It's at Smart and Final. It, I, I believe, if I'm looking at the directions correctly, I believe that I'm delivering to a school and they're ordering just some snacks, like four things of snacks. Um, and the shop is, it's a delivery, a nine to 10 delivery. On the app, it's going to tell you that you start shopping about 8.30ish, I think, or so, or maybe even later than that. But um, I always like to get to the store within the first 15 minutes of the hour. So if it's a nine o'clock shop, I like to get there about 8.15, start checking in with the customer and letting them know that I'm there um, and then just give myself some time. Um, in the morning, it's not that at least here in Fresno, it's not that crowded. The stores aren't crowded. There's not a lot of traffic, so I'm sure I'll be fine. So. All right, I just got to Smart and Final. That took me just about eight minutes to get here. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So here's my order for Smart and Final right here. And it is a nine o'clock shop and it tells me that at 846, I should begin shopping. Well, I never look at that because you definitely wanna get in and get shopping and um, talk to your customer, start communicating with your customer definitely before those times. So um, I don't pay attention to that. So you can see that this is the mem a member's first order. Based on your ratings and how many shops you've done, um, you'll get, um, if you get great ratings and um, you've been shopping for a while, they're going to start giving you more and more of members first orders. Before you claim an order, you can look and you can see what the address is, where you're going to be going, and make sure that that's someplace that you, that is within your range of where you're going to drive. So make sure that you know what store you're going to be shopping at. Make sure that you know where you're going to be delivering. That's important. And then, of course, if there's any order notes, you definitely want to make sure to read those. And then look then after that you can look and see what you're going to be shopping for you cannot see and i know that bothers a lot of people that they cannot see the order before they claim it so they don't know what they're going to be getting once you claim the order and you know what you're going to be getting if it is not something that you want to do you're willing to do then you need to make sure that you drop that order and you can do that if it's within the hour <clears throat> then you can drop it right on the app and if not you you can just call HQ so um this order is a simple order. They just want three Tootsie Roll Caramel Pops and then um, some Jolly Ranchers. And like I said, I think I'm delivering to a school. This is probably just some treats that they need for today, I guess. So I am going to go into the store, go along with me as I shop this order. Smart and Final has the cart in this hole in it. right there in stock so I'm going to click right there and I found them so that's I'm gonna push found and now I'm going to scan it's gonna ask me how many I need to go to three and then add to cart now I'm going to go get the next item all right Jolly Ranchers hard candy original flavor 3.75 pounds. I got it. 
So let me scan it. That's the right one. That's all they ordered. So I'm going to head to checkout. You got everything. So this is a prepaid order. So we're just going to go ahead and process it. So you need to process it before you head up to the register. So now we're going to, you can see that the items are on there. We're going to confirm the receipt. So now I need, just need to go up to the front to, to get it checked out. Okay, so all you need to do for prepaid orders is take them to either customer service or in this case at this store all we do is take them to a register they just count your orders they look at the receipt they give you bags and you bag it up yourself so prepaid orders you are bagging yourself whether it's Target um, at least in, in our experience at least in our uh, metro that's what we do okay so I'm just bagging up they just had four items nice and easy and putting in here but while I'm back here in the back of my car I wanted to show you what I keep in the back of my car this is the ship insulated bag that you get after you complete 30 shops and I have two of these um, this one's pretty worn um, I, one I purchased and then one um, I was given to me along with the shirt after 30 shops and after 30 shops you get an email that says that you're ready to order your grad pack you just need to go in and you just need to fill out the info and um, then they'll send it to you I also keep in the bag I have a bag a reasonable bag back here and I just keep extra bags in here um, there's Target bags there's Vons bags there's smart and final bags um, bags for the places that I shop because inevitably um, there's going to be a bagger that you're um, not going to be watching and they're going to overfill a bag and you don't want to I don't want to um, give them to the customers um, like that I want to um, deliver groceries bag the way that I would want to get them so um, make sure that I do that correctly. yes I was right it was it's an elementary school so I have parked in the 30 minute parking and I'm gonna go find the office so I can get this delivered next piece of advice is always park next to the cart corral that way you always know where your cart is when you come out of the store that you're shopping at Jeanette's Comfort Glide. Got it right here. Scan it. Good to go. Oh, it's not gross over here. Back in the car. So, one of the notes that the customer had written under the, um, you know, the item. Oh, while I'm talking to you, and I hear my chime because I'm getting a ship shop, so let me look and see. I have to remind myself, I have a, after I deliver this, I have a 12 o'clock and a 1 o'clock, and available orders, this one says, back at this store, and let me see, it's to an apartment complex. I don't know if I've delivered there before. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that order. So I'm gonna kind of leave it there for a second. So what happens is when a shop comes up and you look at it, you're deciding if you're gonna take it or not. If you just let it sit there for a minute or two, then if somebody else is out there and they're on the schedule or they're going to take the shop, you're not going to be affected. Your rating is not going to be affected if somebody else picks that shop up. So this customer has requested the minimum amount of bags possible. I'm not sure if she just doesn't want to waste bags. You know because of the environment or she doesn't want to pay for them but either way I'm going to still bag things separately I try to bag again this is a prepaid order that's why I'm bagging it myself and I usually either bag it in my car 
since it's a nice day, or sometimes I like it in the store. So I went ahead and put it in two bags for her. I put all the non-food items, because she had a lot of non-food items, in one bag, and then the food items plus her cat food in another bag. There were a couple of substitutions, a couple of items that she didn't, um, that the store didn't have. So I usually only wait about five minutes for the customer to text me back, and then I just start making some decisions. If I'm getting, oops, to the end of the shop and they still haven't texted me back, I just let them know, okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete that um, from your order. But I try to do a reasonable substitution. I put it in my cart. So, for example, she wanted a family size box of extra toasty Cheez-Its. They didn't have that on the shelf. They only had the small box. So, I put the small box in my cart. I asked her about the substitution. She fortunately got back to me right away and said, yes, that's fine. I did ask her if she wanted two small boxes to make up for the family size, and she said no one was fine. So that's great when the customers get back to you right away. Um, and so that's how I do it. There's, I'm sure, other ways to do it, but that's how I do it. So, All right, so everything's bagged up. It's in my car, and I am headed to deliver. I'm going to send the customer a message in just a moment and let her know that I'm on my way. All right, so I just delivered. I don't like to sit in a customer's um, right in front of their house or anything to mark my orders as delivered and do all of that. So I pull around out, out of their neighborhood, like maybe right when I'm getting ready to head out of the entrance of their neighborhood to do that. So I am going to mark the order as delivered. And that order that um, that came through when I was bagging her groceries, that 11 o'clock order, um, that was taken. And we have plenty of shoppers in our area, so and especially during the day that like to shop. So um, I was pretty confident that it would be scooped up, and it was. So that's not going to hurt my ratings at all. Is not accepting that order. That's no problem. And. Um, the customer was very nice. Um, she was so sweet. She came to the door. It's great when customers are waiting for you after you you know you send them to the text saying I'm on my way and be there shortly. Some I know that some people actually put the um, ETA when they're going to arrive. They'll say you know five minutes, seven minutes, eleven minutes. I don't do that. I just say usually see you soon. Or if I know if I have a delivery before them, if I'm doing a double, I'll say you know I'll be there at you know whatever time it is. I'll let them know the time then. So on most orders no I just say I'll be there soon and they know um, the distance from the store that they're where they're shopping at so they know about how long it should take us to get there that's how I think about it anyway so um, my next order is a 12 o'clock shop and um, it's only it's 952 right now so one of the things that you can do I know some people um, don't check their delivery history until the end of the day till they've done all their shops some people check it as they're shopping um, I, it just depends for me you know what I'm doing so I can see that you know how much I made on that shop and um, you know if the customer has tipped yet or not which they haven't which is fine I don't really usually I know some people um, kind of get a little upset if they don't get tipped right away um, I've gotten tipped up to a month later so I really don't worry about it it's nice if you get tipped right away um, because you do track it um, and that makes me think of something too. I'm going to do a separate video about um, how I track, how I tracked 2019 shops, um, how I know um, what to turn in to, for my taxes for mileage. My husband is an accountant and he has set up a spreadsheet and it's probably way too much and not with the normal purse ship shopper would do but I'm going to be sharing that with you in a separate video because um, that's just kind of a little bit more complicated and more than we you need to probably see for today so um, I'm not sure what else um, I want to talk to you about I'm going to clip all this together so you can just kind of see I'm going to go on my um, I have two more shops to do today I don't think I'm going to I think I'm going to stop there and not really um, take you along on those shops because both of the orders are um, fairly larger orders the next um, one's a prepaid and one is not one of the orders is uh, for a regular customer and um, he orders a lot of cat food and buying all those and looking for all those little different you know cans of cat food drives me crazy I know some people it drives them crazy looking for baby food I'd look for baby food all day long but cat food makes me crazy most important advice I can I think I can say um, for you 
for shoppers is communication. Make sure that you send that intro text to let your shopper know that you are shopping. Communicate with them throughout the shop. Communicate with them and let them know when you are getting ready to check out just is just in case there's any last minute things i am a ship customer as well yesterday i placed an order from ship and my customer and my shopper was very communicative but she did not talk to me or communicate with me right before she checked out and i had thought of one more thing that i probably would have asked her to go and get but at that point she said i'm on my way i'm delivering and i wasn't gonna have her go back and do it then so um i guess that's part of the customer's issue too, I guess. But um, anyway, communicate, communicate, communicate. And um, and then afterwards, I always send a little follow-up. You know, in the lounge, there's all the little um, photos and pictures that you can send to your customers. And I'll show you the one that I just sent the customer. Um, I'm getting ready to send this customer one, but the customer that I just shot for, I just use this one that says, um, you know, thanks for choosing shipped. And so there's a lot of different ones out there. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, please do. Um, I have about five more shops and then I will hit 500 shops. If you are still contemplating whether or not you want to do your first shop because you're nervous about it, really seriously, just like you've probably read in the lounge, just jump in and do it. Um, at the end of the day, it's just shopping. And if something happens with the app, um, you know, and sometimes that does happen. I've been in the middle of a shop where I've had to um, delete the app, download a new one, get my password, enter my password, do all the whole thing. And you know what? But um, it, things happen. But for the most part, I love ship shopping. I love making my own schedule. I can hop on and hop off the schedule whenever I want. I can make some extra money. And um, I love that we get paid every Friday. So um, there's many things that I like about um, ship shopping. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down. I'll get back to you. And um, I hope that if you are a ship shopper um, and you have some experience and you have some ideas for me, please leave that in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about your adventures as well. So I'm going to go ahead to Target and go do my next shop. Have a wonderful day today and happy ship shopping. Bye-bye.